guys, it's Sophie, and I will be talking about golden retrievers. And later in this video, my friend will be talking about hedgehogs. Well, let's get started. Do you have a golden retriever? Well, I do. And golden retrievers are very unique dogs in many ways, and that's what I'll be talking about. Golden retrievers are breeds of friendly dogs. If we didn't know what breeds are, they are the type of animal. Goldens are great retrievers. That's why they got their name. Golden retrievers are a great help to the community. Why? Well, because they can use their nose to help find people who are lost. This breed is even good at hunting birds. Golden retrievers are large dogs. Golden retrievers can weigh up to 80 pounds. As you may know, there are other dogs that have retriever in their name, but that does not mean that they are the same dog. So Labrador retrievers have short hair and golden retrievers have long hair. Golden retrievers shed hair to keep their hair healthy. Retriever puppies have sharp nails and teeth. They definitely need to be trained. A golden retriever can live up to 10 to 15 years old. Retrievers love to play fetch. They also love to, to jump and play in the water. They love the water. These are all the reasons why golden retrievers are very unique dogs. Hopefully I got you going to a pet store or a breeder to get a golden retriever. So golden retrievers always need walks every single day. And also if you have kids, you always need to make sure your kids are always playing fetch with it and taking them on walks. Because golden retrievers need to be on walks daily. Or else, you know, they can not be the friendliest dogs when they're older. And also, they might not have the best health when they get when when they're living their life. So, golden retrievers. So, always once a month, at, at least once or twice a month, you should take your golden retriever to the pet store and you always need to be trimmed or it needs to make sure it has no fleas or ticks and it needs to always have a bath at least once a week once a week so also golden retrievers like i said before shed a lot so you always need to brush them once a week so yes golden retrievers love to play and and you know what my golden retriever gets really mad at us if we start to play fetch with him and we have to go walk away to do our chores or something and then he starts to get upset because golden retrievers love to play and that's just who they are and they golden retrievers have awesome personalities because they are kind dogs and make sure when you get if you get a golden retriever puppy you always need to train it or else it won't be the best dog when you get older and that's how I also say. So here's my friend Sophie. Hey guys, I'm gonna tell you about hedgehogs. And as you know, they're like the cutest animal alive. That's my opinion at least, but they are pretty cute. So, let's get started. If you need to know, you need to know a little bit about hedgehogs and for their lifespan if you wanna get one. You need to know when they're scared, what kinds of things they, they need for a happy life, or what are hedgehogs? Believe me, I have one. Hedgehogs are mammals, and they're not in the porcupine family because they don't shoot their quills at an other animals. Instead, they curl up into spiky balls so they protect their predators, so their predators can't eat them. They're not nocturnal. They are nocturnal, so they are active at night and sleep in the day. So if you do get one as a pet, don't force it to play in the day. Let them be who they are. Hedgehogs live in the forest, deserts, and savannas, so you can only take them outside in warm weather so they don't burrow and sleep through the winter and starve to death because they haven't eaten enough. It's kind of scary if that happens. When they get scared, all their quills go up and form a zigzag formation. Then they do a thing called snuff. Snuffing. Snuffing is when they make hissing sounds. If you touch them, they'll jump and try to poke their predator in the nose or mouth. I'm not saying that you are the predator, but they think you are. So, so try not to wake your head jump up in the day because they'll just snuff, jump, and curl up into a spiky ball until they calm down. The best way to calm them down is to pick them up and just pet them until they relax. Yes, you can pet them up, pet them when they're, when they're really spiky. When you get a hedgehog for a pet, they needs to be a big enough cage for it to run around at night. The cage has to have an enclosed bottom so they can't fall out. And there should be no shelves or edges 
so they because the hedgehogs could just fall off they don't do very well with edges they need to have a running wheel to like run around on and stay active at night and believe me just because you don't see them being active doesn't mean they're not active so yeah that's really the only thing you need that's really all you need to know about hedgehogs and their short lifespan but the best part about them is like they're adorable Oh, and they do have babies. That's the, that's the thing to remember. So, bye guys. Thanks bye guys, for watching. thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.